Miss Delmarva. Welcome back, everyone. I'm joined now by Molly Hillegas and Jeff Bacon here to talk about the Iron Furnace 5K and 100K Century Fun Ride. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Thanks for having us. Thank You're you, very Jen. Welcome. It's a pleasure. I just rode in from Furnace Town. I know. I'm, I'm looking at you. You're our, our, our biker of, of this interview. So tell us a little bit about this name. Sounds a little intimidating, I, I would say, for someone that's not used to riding bikes and going on these uh, these rides. So talk to us. Anybody can do it. it it's for beginners as well. Absolutely, it is, Jen. Uh, I started riding again about three years ago after not having ridden a bike for almost 35 years. And after a couple weeks, I was ready to go. Wow. And actually, we have three routes. We have a 50K, a 50 mile, mm -hmm. and a 100K. Might sound uh, intimidating, but it's really not. Mm -hmm. The 50K is uh, only a little over 30 miles. Mm -hmm. And uh, even a novice biker can do that. Yeah. So where will people be riding? What are these uh, routes looking like? Well, actually, they will ride very scenic, very flat roads uh, in the vicinity of the Furnace Town Living Heritage Museum, which is located just a couple miles outside of Snow Hill. And I was actually the person who designed the three routes. So I did those uh, kind of thinking that we have all types of levels of, of cyclists uh, involved. And I've tried to uh, make those routes not only scenic, but basically flat. Wow, so it, it sounds like a beautiful ride, and this um, is all really going to a great cause. This is helping the Snow Hill Rotary Club as well as the Furnace Town Heritage Museum. So tell us a little bit about what these two organizations do for that community. Well, Furnace Town has, um, of course, it's a living heritage museum. It's open from April 1st through October 31st. Mm -hmm. And um, we have all kinds of school tours out there, and we host weddings. Um, right now, all the rage is rustic weddings, and mm -hmm. so there's weddings. We have events, Strawberry Days coming up the last Sunday in May. Mm -hmm. And we're very excited about the, the, the Iron Furnace 50 because this helps to support those educational programs at Furnace Town. Yeah. Plus, half the money goes to the Snow Hill Rotary Club, so that partnership between the Rotary and Furnace Town has really um, helped to make this event possible. We could not do it without the support from the Rotary. Absolutely. So you're really kind of encouraging people to form teams, to really get groups together. How, what are some great ways that you can suggest uh, people do this and go about fundraising? Well, I would suggest that uh, folks who like to ride their bicycles talk to their friends who also like to ride. Uh, it's going to be a great day. It's, it's a fun ride. It's mm -hmm. not a competitive athletic event. It's not going to be timed. Uh, the riders will leave from Furnace Town and they will also return to Furnace Town. And after the ride is finished, we're going to have a very delicious picnic lunch mm -hmm. served under the pavilion with adult refreshments for those who qualify. Uh, also, the, the ride, uh, there will be several rest stops that will be fully equipped. Uh, not only with food and drink, but with uh, porta potties in mm -hmm. case uh, folks need those. Right. And uh, the ride will also be, uh, it'll be observed by uh, folks riding behind in vehicles in case anybody ri ri runs into any trouble yeah. on the road, we'll be there to rescue you. And uh, right. just invite everybody to come out because it's going to be so much fun and beautiful springtime on Lower Del Mar. But you this is the time of year it. to right. get outside and, and do and a And there's ride no like traffic. This. The route was designed so there's no traffic out there. The events on Saturday, May the 11th, which is Mother's Day weekend, mm -hmm. um, you can register online at ironfurnace50.org. It's only $45 for adults and $35 for kids. Okay. And if they can register today. Um, then they'll be guaranteed a T-shirt because we're oh, going to be placing okay, the T-shirt order on Monday. So, great. Um, so we're encouraging everyone to go online and register. And if they um, miss the registration online, they can still register the day of the event. Okay. At seven, we'll open the registration at seven in the morning till nine, and they can start the ride whenever they want. So. Great. Great. So, and, and we, you mentioned earlier a few, there's a, a lot of really great events coming up in, in Furnace Town in the near future. So talk to me a little bit about those. And, and this is one of what this ride is really going to benefit. Well, there's, everyone knows about the Celtic Festival that happens, yes. you know, every year. Um, but we have Strawberry Day coming at the end of May. That'll be the last Sunday in May. Mm -hmm. And we have archaeology digs, ghost tours. Um, there's so much happening at Furnace Town. It's really, really a lot of fun. And, um, 
You can go check out our website, the Furnace Town website. There's a whole list of events. Mm -hmm. They're also listed on the Snow Hills, the Town of Snow Hills website. Mm -hmm. So I just ex recommend that everyone Absolutely. check it out. It's a great day trip. And um, even on a non-event day, the admission is very affordable mm -hmm. to get in. And Absolutely. it's a great place to bring families. Absolutely. So one more time, the website where folks can go and register online. IronFurnace50.org or you can call, call us during regular business hours at 410-632-2032. And I, I should stress that the online registration will remain open until a day or two before the event. Okay. Um, to be guaranteed a t-shirt, we'd like you to register as quickly as possible, but mm -hmm. you can still do it online up till probably uh, sometime on, on Friday afternoon. Okay, great. Jeff, Molly, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Thanks again for it having us. It's been a welcome. pleasure. We'll see you at Furnace Town. Of course. Well, stick around. Good Things Don't Marvel. We'll be right back after this.